Hi Aries, this is your weekly reading for the 17th to the 23rd of April 2023. This is um, a very exceptional week as we are uh, going to have the full moon, the first full moon after the spring equinox. Also we're going into Taurus and uh, we are leaving Aries behind. But since we are in Aries, I would just like to stipulate um, that it is a fiery sign and it is ruled by Mars. So be careful of aggression, uh, arguments, uh, watch your intonation and how you say things. Also, we will be going into Mercury retrograde until the 15th of uh, May and then there will be 10 to 14 days until after Mercury goes direct. So be careful of signing official documents, electric, electrical, uh, electrical stuff and mechanical stuff. If you can wait until after Mercury retrograde, then do so. Forewarned is forearmed. If you can't, then get it double checked by professionals. Now, I'm also making an announcement today that I'm not going to do the podcasts on other channels other than YouTube. So you can see videos and podcasts on YouTube, but not more, no more on Spotify or Cast or any of the others. It's too much work. I work seven days a week and I do have a life of my own. It's getting a bit too hectic. I'm sorry. So please join me uh, on uh, a um, podcast on YouTube. This will be the last episode that is going uh, up as podcasts. So here we go. Um, you come in with the moon. So the full moon could be very important to you, Aries, as you are closing off your first astrological month of the astrological calendar. We, as we are going into a slower and steadier energy, like I said, we should have mm, dealt with the old stuff in March and letting go so that we're making room for the new. So now you've sown the seeds, you ought to have sown the seeds um, or um, gone over um, re-evaluating what you want to do this coming year. If you've planted new seeds, um, then uh, now is the time to start nurturing them, staying on top of your seeds, that can be projects or what you are dreaming of or wishing or your goal for this year. What do you want to reach? Think about it. Also remember that uh, uh, nobody can, can predict the fu future as the future hasn't happened yet. It's easier to read the past and the present. Um, but I'm only going to um, advise you on what energy is around you in the coming week. You're the one that holds the key um, to change the present and the future. Learn from the past so that you don't fall into old traps. So coming in with the moon, you could be meeting or dealing with a Cancer prominently and a Pisces as the, um, the crab or the lobster, whatever you want to call it, uh, represents Cancer and the Moon is also represented by the uh, Pisces. So you do have a new beginning because we've got the two pillars here and that means that the Divine, the Cosmos, is giving you a doorway to step through to a new beginning. So you're going into a new month, new energy, and new awareness. You're going to try to focus and nurture your projects, your seeds. Also, perhaps you might be starting meditation, contemplation and evaluation. Every day it is good to look back what you've done, what you have achieved, not what you haven't achieved, but look at what is not done yet so that you can pick it up the next day or whenever you have a moment uh, to start that project or pick that other project up. So all of us have uh, a few projects on the go, but don't take on too much hay onto your fork. 
Now, also listen to your intuition. You might be more empathic, intuitive. You might be dreaming more uh, at night. Uh, you might be sensing things more uh, around the 21st, even from the 19th to the 22nd uh, or 23rd, because the energy will linger on. Also, depending in which hemisphere you are, this, uh, the full moon could be with you at the 20th, but definitely on the 21st. Secrets could be revealed, so if you have a secret, be careful. And also be careful who you tell your secrets to, or your heart's wishes. Make sure you trust people, uh, or that you can trust people. So definitely you are in the spotlight, you're being noticed, career-wise or romantically, you might have caught somebody's eye. Where there is a spotlight, there is recognition, but there's also illumination. That's the dark side of the spotlight. So that's why I can say with an honest heart, secrets could be revealed. Or you have to do some more research in order to start a certain project or carry on with a project. That said, that's the overall energy. You might be wanting to take a break, a midweek away or a weekend away. Uh, take a rest as you've got the Four of Swords at the beginning of the week. This also means meditation, taking time out to think about things, meditate, contemplate and evaluate, or just rejuvenate your batteries after a busy month. After all, it has been your birthday. For those Aryans that um, haven't had their birthday yet, happy birthday. And to those that haven't seen my previous weeklies, then happy belated birthday. I hope it was a wonderful birthday. Now, four means also stability. Stability will return and also productivity. So think about it and think very carefully what you are going to continue with, which project and how you're going to go about it. Make a plan and take that into action. You've also got the death card. The death card means not a real death. It means an end of a phase and a new beginning. You're no longer the caterpillar. You are the butterfly, so reach for the sky and fly. Also, this in this angel card, the um, this figure, the knight in, in shining armor, um, he has wings. So I feel some of you could be flying out of the nest or could be branching out as well. This new beginning could be a massive big beginning. Wow, this is really great. Also, there is news coming in and an offer. Water, the element water seems to be quite prominent in your reading. As you've got the Knight of Cups, this could be an offer of a job. This could be an offer of love or a proposal to marriage or partnering up in business if it isn't a romance. You could be dealing or meeting a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces. Scorpio, Scorpio, quite prominently because Scorpio is also represented by the Death card. And Cancer and Pisces are here with the Moon. The last card that you have this week is um, the Six of Pentacles. If you are less fortunate, you could be getting help or listening ear, a helping hand, or a gift, or uh, even a gift of money or an other gift um, from the more fortunate. If you're the one that's more fortunate, you could be helping the less fortunate by doing the same thing, a listening ear, a helping hand, or giving a gift. Now, the oracle card that you have is talking about um, reaching for the sky and fly there is a kite flying here how apt is that definitely moving upwards and onwards self-believing and beyond so trust yourself have faith in yourself that is what you might be contemplating about on how to have more faith 
and trust and self-assurance um, in yourself. Castles in the sky, dreams can hang in the balance, sometimes dangling on a bare thread. Or you may find yourself grasping at wisps, visions in the busy intersection of expectation. What a beautiful words. English is such a rich, beautiful, charming language. You may become frustrated when nothing or only very little appears to be happening. Allow time, uh, although time may have dashed your hopes or rerouted a few prayers, nothing is lost. What is needed now is to keep your sights set on the goodness within you and around you. Keep believing in the beauty and truth of your heart's desire. Only then will you be carried on the wings of hope and faith, just like the death card, flying to the sky. And now I'm getting a song. And that song is called Be My, You're My Hero. Yes, the divine is my hero. Um, but this could also be a prominent person, like a person, uh, your new love that could be proposing to you. You could be ride, riding together with him or her uh, on the winds. What was it? On the winds uh, uh, of hope and faith. Well, bit, listen to that song from Bette bit Midler sings it, You Are My Hero. This film is absolutely a tearjerker, but it's a beautiful story. Now I'm going to the extended. I hope you've enjoyed your weekly. So take care and have a beautiful week and a happy new beginning in your second month. Bye-bye.